In a groundbreaking move, the Canada Revenue Agency has just unveiled a game-changing pension program that could put an extra $2,100 in your pocket every single month. Stay tuned to find out if you qualify and how this could transform your retirement plans. In a surprising announcement that has sent ripples through the Canadian financial landscape, the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has revealed plans for a substantial increase in monthly pension payments for eligible Canadians. Starting August 2024, qualifying individuals could receive up to $2,000 per month, marking a significant boost to the country's social security net. This unprecedented move comes as a response to the rising cost of living and the growing concerns about retirement security among Canadians. The new pension program, tentatively named the Enhanced Canadian Retirement Benefit, ECRB, represents a major overhaul of the existing pension system. It aims to provide a more robust financial foundation for retirees and those approaching retirement age. The CRA's decision to implement this program reflects a growing awareness of the financial challenges faced by many Canadians as they enter their golden years. At the heart of this new initiative is the recognition that the current pension system, while helpful, often falls short of meeting the full needs of retirees. With the cost of housing, health care, and daily essentials continuing to rise, many seniors have found themselves struggling to maintain their quality of life on existing pension payments. The ECRB is designed to address this gap, providing a more substantial monthly income that better aligns with the real-world expenses faced by Canadian retirees. The announcement of the $2,100 monthly pension has been met with a mix of enthusiasm and cautious optimism from various sectors of Canadian society. Financial experts have praised the move as a step in the right direction, noting that it could significantly reduce the risk of poverty among older Canadians. Social advocacy groups have also welcomed the news, seeing it as a long overdue acknowledgement of the financial pressures faced by many seniors. However, as with any major policy change, the announcement has also raised numerous questions about the program's implementation, eligibility criteria, and long-term sustainability. The CRA and other government agencies are now tasked with providing clarity on these issues in the coming months, as Canadians eagerly await more details about how they might benefit from this enhanced pension plan. One of the key aspects of the new ECRB is its potential to provide greater financial independence for seniors. With a monthly payment of $2,100, many retirees would find themselves in a much stronger position to cover their basic needs without having to rely on additional support from family members or social assistance programs. This could lead to improved quality of life for seniors and reduce stress on families who often struggle to provide financial support to their elderly relatives. The increased pension amount could also have significant implications for retirement planning. For many Canadians, the prospect of a more substantial government pension might allow for greater flexibility in their personal savings strategies. Some may choose to retire earlier, knowing that they will have a more robust safety net to fall back on. Others might feel more confident in making long-term financial decisions, such as downsizing their homes or investing in their health and well-being. It's important to note that the $2,100 figure represents the maximum monthly payment under the new program. The actual amount received by individuals is likely to vary based on factors such as years of residency in Canada, contributions to the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, and overall income levels. The CRA has indicated that they will be releasing detailed eligibility criteria and calculation methods in the coming weeks, allowing Canadians to better understand how the new pension program will apply to their specific circumstances. One of the most pressing questions surrounding the ECRB is how it will be funded. The Canadian government has long faced challenges in balancing the needs of an aging population with fiscal responsibility. The introduction of such a significant increase in pension payments will undoubtedly require careful financial planning and potentially new revenue sources. Some economists have suggested that this may lead to adjustments in tax rates or changes to other government programs to offset the increased pension costs. The government has stated that the funding for the ECRB will come from a combination of sources, including reallocation of existing budget items, potential increases in CPP contributions, and anticipated economic growth. They have emphasized that the program's financial structure has been designed with long-term sustainability in mind, taking into account demographic projections and economic forecasts for the coming decades. Another important aspect of the new pension program is its potential impact on the Canadian economy as a whole. Increasing the purchasing power of retirees could lead to a boost in consumer spending, particularly in sectors that cater to older demographics. This could create a ripple effect, stimulating economic activity and potentially leading to job creation in various industries. Moreover, 
the enhanced pension could help alleviate some of the pressure on Canada's healthcare system. With more financial resources at their disposal, seniors may be better able to afford preventative care, manage chronic conditions, and maintain healthier lifestyles. This, in turn, could lead to reduced healthcare costs in the long run, as fewer seniors might require extensive medical interventions or long-term care facilities. In response to these concerns, the government has emphasized that the ECRB is designed to be adaptable and sustainable over the long term. They point to built-in mechanisms for reviewing and adjusting the program based on economic indicators and demographic trends. Additionally, there are plans to couple the enhanced pension with initiatives aimed at supporting younger Canadians, such as programs to address housing affordability and student debt relief. The international community is closely watching Canada's move to substantially increase its pension payments. As many developed countries grapple with aging populations and concerns about retirement security, the ECRB could serve as a model for other nations considering reforms to their own pension systems. Some observers have noted that Canada's approach could influence global discussions on social security and the role of government in supporting retirees. However, it's important to recognize that the success of such a program depends heavily on a country's specific economic circumstances, demographic makeup, and political climate. What works for Canada may not be directly applicable to other nations without significant adaptations. Nevertheless, the principles underlying the ECRB namely, the recognition of the need for more robust support for retirees are likely to resonate in many parts of the world. As the August 2024 implementation date approaches, there is a growing sense of anticipation among Canadians. Many are eager to learn more about how the new pension program will work in practice and what steps they need to take to ensure they receive the full benefits they're entitled to. The CRA has promised to provide regular updates and has set up dedicated information channels to address the influx of inquiries they expect to receive. Financial institutions and retirement planning services are also preparing for increased demand as Canadians seek to understand how the ECRB fits into their overall financial picture. Many banks and investment firms are developing new products and services tailored to complement the enhanced government pension, recognizing that this represents a significant shift in the retirement planning landscape. One of the potential positive outcomes of the new pension program is its ability to provide retirees with greater choice and flexibility in how they spend their later years. With a more substantial guaranteed income, some seniors may feel empowered to pursue long-held dreams or engage in activities they previously couldn't afford. This could lead to increased participation in volunteer work, lifelong learning programs, or even entrepreneurial ventures among older Canadians. The ECRB could also have significant implications for Canada's housing market. With more financial security, some retirees may choose to remain in their homes longer rather than downsizing or moving to assisted living facilities. This could impact housing availability and prices, particularly in areas popular with retirees. On the flip side, the increased income might allow others to relocate to desired retirement destinations, potentially stimulating economic growth in smaller communities or traditional retirement havens. As with any major policy change, there are concerns about potential unintended consequences of the enhanced pension program. Some economists warn that such a significant increase in guaranteed income could lead to inflation, particularly in sectors that cater to seniors. There are also questions about how the program might affect labor market dynamics, savings behaviors, and overall economic productivity. To address these concerns, the government has stated that they will be closely monitoring the economic impacts of the ECRB and have built in mechanisms for making adjustments as needed. They emphasize that the program is designed to be flexible and responsive to changing economic conditions, with regular reviews and the ability to fine-tune various aspects of the pension payments. One of the most significant challenges in implementing the new pension program will be ensuring equitable access and distribution. Canada's vast geography and diverse population mean that there may be disparities in how easily different groups can access information about the ECRB or navigate the application process. The CRA has committed to working with provincial and territorial governments, as well as community organizations, to develop strategies for reaching all eligible Canadians, including those in remote areas or with limited access to technology. The introduction of the $2,100 monthly pension also raises important questions about the future of work and retirement in Canada. As the nature of employment continues to evolve, with more Canadians engaged in part-time, contract, or gig economy work, traditional models of pension contributions and retirement planning may need to be re-evaluated. The ECRB could serve as a catalyst for broader discussions about how to ensure financial security in an era of changing work patterns.
Additionally, the enhanced pension program may influence decisions around caregiving and family support. With seniors having access to more substantial financial resources, there could be reduced pressure on family members to provide direct financial assistance. This could potentially allow for more focus on emotional support and quality time between generations, rather than financial obligations. As the details of the ECRB continue to be refined and communicated, it's clear that this represents a significant moment in Canadian social policy. The decision to substantially increase pension payments reflects a commitment to addressing the evolving needs of an aging population and recognizing the contributions of seniors to Canadian society. While there are certainly challenges and questions to be addressed in the implementation of this new program, the potential benefits are substantial. From improving the quality of life for retirees to stimulating economic activity and potentially reshaping how Canadians think about retirement, the ripple effects of this policy change are likely to be felt for years to come. As August 2024 approaches, all eyes will be on the Canadian government and the CRA as they work to turn this ambitious plan into reality. The success of the ECRB could set a new standard for how developed nations support their aging populations, potentially influencing retirement policies around the world. For individual Canadians, particularly those nearing retirement age, the announcement of the $2,100 monthly pension represents an opportunity to reassess and potentially redefine their retirement plans. While it's important to await further details and not make hasty financial decisions based on preliminary information, the prospect of a more robust government pension provides a new variable to consider in long-term financial planning. As this new chapter in Canadian retirement policy unfolds, it will be crucial for all stakeholders government agencies, financial institutions, employers, and individual citizens to engage in ongoing dialogue and remain flexible in adapting to the realities of implementation. The ECRB has the potential to significantly enhance retirement security for millions of Canadians, but its ultimate success will depend on careful management, clear communication, and a willingness to adjust course as needed. In conclusion, the CRA's announcement of a $2,100 monthly pension for eligible Canadians starting in August 2024 marks a bold step towards addressing the financial challenges faced by retirees in an era of increasing life expectancies and rising living costs. While many questions remain about the specifics of implementation and long-term sustainability, the ECRB represents a significant commitment to enhancing the quality of life for older Canadians. As the program takes shape in the coming months, it will undoubtedly continue to be a topic of intense interest and discussion across the country, potentially reshaping how Canadians view retirement and old age security for generations to come.